never ever have enough time to play at all You know everybody wants to walk in someone else's shoes Hello, welcome back to Otter Creek in Rio Grande So in the last video, my last update video You'll recall that I didn't have all of my LCC components to complete wiring and since then I have got everything and everything's up and running. So just for fun, I thought I'd go ahead and power up the system on camera here just because for some strange reason I enjoy that. So stand by. So that was first the LCC system coming on and then I turned the track power on uh, right after that. So what we've got here is we've got my main power bus coming in to this circuit breaker and then leaving out here and this circuit breaker controls frying pan. And then this bus, which is just, you know, a, I guess I don't know if what the right word, but it bridges over to here. So it's not going through this circuit breaker and it's going over to this circuit breaker. And then it is going to Silver Gulch, which is over yonder. So Silver Gulch, and frying pan have two separate circuit breakers. So I had a little mishap right when I put in this LCC node. This is a, an LCC tower, a tower LCC is what it's actually called. And it's the 16 input output node for LCC. So the first eight lines come out here and this ribbon cable goes to my panel over there. So each one of those push buttons are configured as an input. And then these eight lines are going to the stall motor driver. Let's see if I can get a better look at that. Which is right here. And then these eight lines are divided into groups of four because you have to have two wires for each tor tortoise so that you can change the polarity. So the first four go to the far end of West End Staging where there are four turnouts down there. You can see the push buttons for them. And then this other ribbon cable goes to this end where the curve turnouts are going into frying pan. So when I first configured all of this, I had one channel that was not working. And with my test light, I figured out that channel nine was not working, which is, you know, the, the first channel after your first eight, you know, channel nine, duh. <laughs> but I, I figured out that it, it just, it wasn't transmitting for some reason. And there should be an LED associated with that when you use your test light. So this is the tester and when you plug that in, you should have all eight lights associated with that plug. You should, it looks like one of those right there is not lighting up for some strange reason. At any rate, that's what I discovered that one of those wasn't lit up. So, and I also couldn't get anything to happen down there on the tortoise that I had it configured with. So I got a hold of Dick Bronson at RR Circuits because that's who makes these things. And 
They shipped me another one the very next day and everything is up and running smoothly. So all of that to say that RR Circuits is a really good company that stands behind their product. And if, if there's anything that you can purchase from RR Circuits, because they do have some loco net uh, usable devices that are similar to what I'm doing here with LCC. I'm not familiar with them, but uh, definitely take a look at what they've got if any of this kind of electronic stuff interests you. Uh, just a great company. Uh, I talked to Karen on the phone, which is Dick's wife. She's the sales representative, and you just any minute you expect her, you know, to invite you over to have. Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. It's just, they're that good of people. So the way the stall motor driver works is you've got power coming in. And I believe, I can't remember, I'd have to look at the, the power supply that I'm using, but I wanna say I'm supplying 15 volts and it's a one amp uh, plug. And then that gets metered out in the stall motor driver so that when when it leaves these ribbon cables you got the first four and then the next four because you you can handle eight tortoises with this and it carries the power on the ribbon cable and it also carries the input output that's coming in from the LCC to the tortoise adapter board so the way I think of it is it, it siphons off what it needs at each of these plugs and then you get to configure things how you would like them. Uh, the way I'm doing it is all of my push buttons, they're configured as, as inputs. And so when you push a button, I've got them set up now to where they alternate between an on and an off event. And that on and off event toggles the tortoise uh, diverging or straight through and eventually I will manipulate that to where I can create routes where I'm pushing one push button uh, maybe two to configure multiple different routes through frying pan but I can't do that until after I get frying pan completed so let's take a look at what's going on there so you can see the track crew and the surveying team have kind of gotten started on doing some things here in frying pan. And I can tell you there's, there's a lot of work that, that needs to be done in this area. And one of the things that I was still kind of messing around with is that whether or not I had enough of this in scale three millimeter cork to do the whole yard. And I probably do if I were to use some of the actual road bed, the, the strip road bed, I could augment what little bit that I don't have enough for. I could augment with that, but the issue I have there is this is quarter inch and then this is the three millimeter, which is, you know, give or take an eighth of an inch, which is probably not that big of a deal, other than I know that I would probably end up with one of the three ways, one of the two three ways that are gonna go in here, bridging that, and I don't really like the idea of that. So I'm still thinking about that. And I've got a few more mock-ups completed. I've got an ice house, I've got this engine house, and of course you, you'll recognize these. These are my standard, you know, area mock-ups that are just there to kind of fill in some gaps and let me visually see what's going on. So a couple of things with these. I discovered that this particular engine shed is not long enough for a K36 or a K37. So that's something to be considered. It's actually built off of the fine scale miniatures kit. I can't think of the number off the top of my head, but the dimensions are exact with it minus this shed here. 
And so if I want a K36 or a K37 to go all the way in, I'm gonna have to do something different there. So this is Fine Scale Miniatures icing platform. And again, I can't recall what the number is on it, what kit number it is, but it is actually, I mean, I can make it work the way it is now, but what I would really like to do is to build this in a reverse image of the way you see it now so that the shed is at this end. And why do I want to do that? Because there's a few photographs, historic photographs of Basalt, Colorado that uh, you've seen before and I'll show again, that shows the end of this ice house and some of the other structures and more importantly, the track work in this area that I would like to be able to recreate as closely as possible. And that means that this building would need to be a mirror image of the way it is now. And I think I can do that. I think it's just a matter of laying out like I did with this particular mock-up, laying everything out and then recreating it out of wood purchased from, was it Northeast Scale Lumber? I can't think of the name of the place, but you know, uh, aftermarket wood. That, that way you can get all the dimensions right and then you can still use most of the kit if I wanted to for what's gonna go in here because you know it's pretty scant as far as details go. So that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, and then lastly, somewhere in here, probably right where my pliers and or my wire cutters and those turnouts are, needs to be a turntable. And I really think that needs to be the first thing I do after I get my three ways put in over here. I'm still fighting with the three ways. So, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you what I've done so far with the turntable. So this is Scale Structures Limited Sterling Colorado turntable. And I have no idea what the width is or the length is on this. I'm, I think it's either 85 or 90 foot. I haven't read far enough of the instructions to find out if it actually tells you the length. But uh, that's what I've got done so far is I've gone in and used Cordovan Brown and what is this? Uh, Thai Brown and stained all of the wood. And I'm going to get started building this. It'll be probably a two or three week process because it's just kind of slow going. But uh, that's what I've got in the works right now. And I might actually do a build video on this. I haven't decided yet. I probably should. Uh, I don't know, leave me a note in the comment if you think I should or not. So I got one more thing to share with you and then we'll call this video quits. So I've done some operating in the last couple of days. As a matter of fact, that's pretty much all I've done this whole weekend was do some test operations in here. You can see I'm just I'm jumping the electricity, the, the DCC to the ends of these tracks down here to make everything kind of work in there. And you know, if, if you have kept up with the channel, you know, a couple, couple of three videos ago, I mentioned that I was going to try and make this area prototypically accurate to the actual town of Basalt, uh, just couldn't do it. You know, there was not enough room. Had I done what I would have liked to have done, it would have pushed this loop probably over the top of the incoming line there on Silver Gulch. I just, I just couldn't make it happen. So there's some wonkiness about how this is gonna operate. It's not terrible. But the issue is if I have a yard track over here, which I will, if that's your north-south yard, getting cars from here to here to go either east and west is a little bit of a challenge 
And it just, it's not very intuitive in how the person working that yard would do things. Uh, now, I've only done that, you know, a couple of different times. There might be a way that I can manipulate how the yard works to where that's not quite as, I guess, tedious is the word I would use. You end up having to run around all the way down here and, and some things that take out a lot more time than probably what you'd want in an actual operating session. But it is what it is. Uh, main thing is it looks good and I can eventually loop trains through. That's always been my number one goal is it looks good and the trains do run well uh, regardless of how the operation scheme works. Now right here is going to be a mine, which is another little operating glitch that I'm gonna to have to work out because in order to get in and out of where the mine area is, you're gonna to have to share some track on the outside there. So what I'm thinking, you know, I originally thought that the center track would be uh, my arrival departure track and or passing siding, and then the outside track would be the yard track. I might need to make the outside track the one that is never occupied by cars so that a train could easily come in and handle what's going on here at this mine without having to deal with any cars on that track. And that's probably gonna be one of the things I do this next week is go ahead and mock up the Atlantic Cable Mine, which is gonna sit in here somewhere. Maybe one other structure I haven't decided. It depends on how much room I think I have behind the mountain that separates Silver Gulch and Frying Pan that uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to take a look at that, whether or not I can put in another structure beside the mine. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I've got to share on this particular video. Stay tuned for what takes place on Frying Pan next year. I'm gonna knuckle down and try and get that done. I'd like to get it finished before the end of January. I doubt that happens, but for sure by March, uh, that should be up and running the way I want it to. So have a Merry Christmas. You won't see another video from me until after the New Year's. But uh, again, Merry Christmas, and I'm gonna leave you with some trains running.